Hey guys, so with everything going on so far, it seems as if we may have forgotten about the Model 3 and all the various changes it brought us in the past few updates. Going back to late last year when the car was officially launched, it became the golden standard for every other manufacturer to follow along when it came to practicality, comfort, and functionality. It had become the best selling and the best vehicle that money can buy and in comparison with any other vehicle in the market today, it is leaps and bounds ahead of them in terms of technology. Added to all that, the performance variant of this car pushes it to the next level. Not only is the car just as comfortable, just as quiet, and just as feature packed, but it comes with the power and agility to compete with some of the most expensive supercars on the market today. All of that and still being priced at under $50,000 after tax credit, this is probably the best all around car that you can ever buy. Now, I would even say that the redesign Model 3 is a near perfect sedan in almost every sense. It is your day to day commuter, it is your road trip companion, and it is your track monster. It pretty much has it all down, with the exception of a few minor things that can truly make it the perfect vehicle. All of these things here are really just personal preference, but I would think that most of you would agree. Having a powered frunk is something that we have been asking for for a very long time, and this is something that will eventually make its way onto every every single model including the Cybertruck that it's already in. And then having a hatchback or a liftback design for the Model 3, this is something we have already seen in the Model S and how convenient it is when you do have a lot of things to put inside. This is something that would really make the Model 3 stand out compared to a lot of other sedans. And then finally, this would be the icing on top. We have been asking for a head-up display for a very long time. And if Tesla can incorporate this into the Model Y or the Model 3, this would make the dashboard much more futuristic and much more usable than what we have right now. Now all of this sounds like a stretch and something that we might not see for a very long time or at all, but this is with our fingers crossed hoping that they can find the appreciation in each of these changes and integrate it into the future models of the Model 3, making it literally the perfect car that you can ever buy. However, in the grand scheme of things, all these items may seem very irrelevant because the future is for the car to be completely autonomous. The biggest want for the majority of Model 3 owners is for their car to be capable of fully autonomous drives. This is going to be the biggest factor in owning a Tesla in the future. This is really the only way forward and the really only way to keep the appreciation or the value of owning a car. If a car can self-drive and work as a robo-taxi after it ages, the value of this car will continue to stay high throughout the entire lifetime. Now before you roast me in the comment and say all of this training is meant for the robo taxi you are definitely right however this seems to be tested on the model 3 beforehand before any other vehicle gets its hands on it and it may be because the model 3 may be the next generation or the next vehicle to get it according to recent sightings in the past few weeks we have seen a ramp up of engineering test vehicles driving around the streets of los angeles it started off with just one or two of these vehicles. However, we started seeing much more of them as we get closer to the Robo Taxi launch. Now these here are highly modified Model 3 with camera placements all around the vehicle and we got to take a good look at it up close and personal while it was parked at a supercharger. If you want to go into details of all the things we've seen while this car was charging, definitely go check out my previous video. I will drop it in the description below and up top there. Over there you'll see every little aspect of this car from the entire exterior. So moving closer to August the 8th, it seems like Tesla is rapidly pushing more of these test engineer Model 3s out, gathering as much data as they can before this launch happens. Over this weekend, a user on Reddit that goes by Confidential Image has spotted another Model 3 prototype driving without side mirrors and additional cameras. And just within the past day alone, a user on Twitter that goes by Clender Joey was sent some photos of a recently spotted Model 3 prototype with all the latest sensors on board. Now, if you look closely outside of the most obvious changes, you'll notice something different on the rear of these cars. Typically, with these prototype vehicles that we have seen in the past, Tesla would make it quite obvious with the use of large decals to indicate that they are engineering vehicles. It is usually on the entire driver and passenger side doors as well as the entire back glass, 
But this time around, you'll notice that it is barely visible and Tezza has opted for a tiny sticker on the left corner of the trunk. We don't know the exact reason for this recent change, but I would assume that this is because Tezza wants to keep it low key and there is a possibility that those driving around would skip all the cameras and maybe not even notice that this is an engineering vehicle at all. So now, looking closely at these cameras, they don't seem to be the same ones that we have on the hardware for right now. The entire housing looks a little bit different, a bit larger than what we have right now. And it's going to be no surprise that Tesla is going to want to put more powerful, more upgraded cameras into the Robo Taxi. And this means that it will probably be seeing the Hardware 5 sensor suites that we have been talking about for the past couple of weeks. If you want to know more about Hardware 5, the hybrid sensor lens, and a bunch of things they're doing to make water repellent work, this is going to be the video for you. Definitely go check it out. I'll drop that link in the description below and up top there as well. Tons of things to dissect over there. But essentially, what we're going to see in the Robo Taxi is exactly what we're going to see in the future models that are going to be coming out sometime next year. These are all going to be fitted with the exact same sensors, the exact same full self-driving computer to make the car entirely autonomous. Now added to all this, one thing you're going to notice in the recent sightings is something that we have been asking for for a very long time. Now if this is going to be used as part of the full self-driving package, at launch we don't know yet but this is definitely going to be a convenient feature and this is going to be the integration of a front bumper camera now Tesla has made no efforts to hide this at all sticking right up top in the front bumper you are going to see a brand new camera much larger than anything we have seen before and this is supposedly there to assist with the data training and is definitely going to assist with the Tesla vision park assist providing much more accurate measurements than what we have right now so this is something we can all look forward to something that we have already seen in the Cybertruck so even though we're going to see this on the Robo Taxi first on August the 8th which is somehow now delayed down to October we are likely going to be seeing this integration of the front bumper camera sometime shortly after the announcement, even before the entire hardware 5 system gets upgraded. In either case, however they do it, we have seen sightings of the Model 3 from launch with the bumper camera. Now we have started seeing it on the Model Y prototypes that have just recently come out. If you guys have missed that, they are prototyping the Model Y Juniper right now as we speak, and there has tons of things updated over there. Definitely go check that out as well right after this video that link is going to be pinned in the comments below and up top there so go check that out but lots of stuff happening in the next couple of weeks i will keep you as updated as possible tell me what you guys think about all this is this going to be something we're going to be seeing in every single vehicle in the next couple of weeks or is this something that is exclusive to the robo taxi so anyways this should wrap it up for this one but as you know i will keep you as updated as possible so definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on twitter at hey john e over there you guys can chat with me dm with me and i will respond to all of you as quickly as possible this should be it this is john once again peace out